We've all heard about climate change, and now everyone's talking about reaching net zero. But how are they related? Let's start with the problem. Climate change has been triggered by an excess of greenhouse gases, such as carbon dioxide and methane, in the Earth's atmosphere. These gases trap the heat from the sun, which warms our planet even more. We are already seeing the effects through more extreme weather and melting polar ice contributing to rising sea levels. And this will only get worse if our planet's temperature continues to go up. One way we can all help is to do our bit to get to net zero. But what exactly is net zero? Think about running a bath. Turn on the taps and water is added. Pull out the plug and water flows out. To keep the water at the same level, you need to ensure what you put in and what you take out is balanced. Reaching net zero works in a similar way. We need to balance the amount of greenhouse gases we put into the atmosphere with the amount we take out. What we do to limit emissions in the next decade is critical to our future. From countries and companies to families and individuals, we can all play a role in our journey to net zero which will help slow climate change.